In this video, I wanted to sh cover how you can turn the header menu in Dawn into a permanent sticky header. Now Dawn has an option for a semi-sticky header, which basically means when you scroll down, the header goes away, but when you scroll back up, it'll come out. So what we're gonna do in this tutorial is we're gonna make it so that no matter whether you're scrolling down or up, the header is always gonna stay here. Thanks to one of my commenters for recommending I do this video, and let's get started. So here I am in one of the admin of my test sites. I've just downloaded a fresh copy of Dawn. And so the first thing I want you guys to do is you're gonna go ahead and click on this customize button here. And once that loads, you're gonna see this header section here. You're gonna go and click on that. And you wanna make sure that this option here, this enable sticky header is checked. So the enable sticky header is basically just what I was talking about before, where it's a semi sticky header where, you know, when you scroll down, it, it's not there. And when you scroll back up, it, it appears. So to get that permanent, we're going to edit the code of this theme. Before you guys go ahead and click on this edit code button, I want you to click on this duplicate button and make sure you've duplicated your theme just in case, you know, something breaks in your theme while you're doing this. Uh, you'll have a previously working copy of your theme to revert your site to. But once you've done that, you can go ahead and click this edit code button. So that's going to take a little bit to load. Uh, once that's loaded, you want to search your files for header. And you're going to go into the sections folder. You're going to see this header.liquid file here. You want to open that up. And we're looking for the script that hides the header menu when we're scrolling up. So you can see what Don is actually doing when you're scrolling here is when you're scrolling down, it's adding this Shopify section header hidden class to the header, which actually hides the header. And then when you're scrolling up, it's removing that class. So what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and search for that class in the file, this Shopify section header hidden. And so you can see that on this line in this hide function here, uh, mine is 575, yours might be, you know, yours is probably gonna be somewhere around there. Um, it's adding this class. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna keep it adding this class here but we wanna get rid of this class. So we can just delete that. There's a few ways we could do this. We could, you know, delete this and that'll work. Or we could copy this line and paste it beneath itself. Let's properly format that. And, um, you know, go ahead and delete this one and, and uh, comment out this the line above just so we have a copy of it. Um, with any of this, what you wanna do is you're, you're gonna to wanna to leave a comment um, above it just just to tell yourself this is where you've changed the code so you can like type change or something and then um, you know something like permanent sticky header and so but once you've done that like basically the, the whole point is you want to get rid of this class in this line uh, you're gonna go ahead and save that so the other thing to note is this uh, closed menu disclosure um, that's gonna be like so if you want when you're scrolling this header and you have one of these open, if you want that to stay open, you're gonna go wanna go ahead and comment out this line as well, uh, right here, this this dot close menu disclosure uh, function or whatever. So if you do that, um, and then you refresh your site, and uh, you know make sure you're not still on a preview or whatever, just make sure your site is all refreshed and whatnot, you'll notice now when I scroll down, the header is permanent, and if I click these, um, you'll notice that they're still open when I'm scrolling. So if we didn't have that commented out, if I open these and then scroll, they're gonna go away. So that's the difference between those two things. And so for those of you that have been following along with my hover dropdown menu tutorials in Dawn, you'll notice that this also works with the hover dropdown. If you don't know what I'm talking about in regards to that, on the end screen of this video, I've actually linked those tutorials. Uh, I'd recommend you check them out if you want to hover drop down header menu on Dawn. If this video helped you, I'd appreciate it if you left a like so other people can find it. And other than that, I'll see you in the next video, guys.